All right, Series 8, General Electric Handbook, um, General Electric. Operation, introduction, all of the operating devices manually, visually, normally used for the engineering during a local mode of operation are located near the operator's position on the control console or the engine control panel. Master control, the master control is used by the operator to control locomotives during operation. It is equipped with a throttle handle, dynamic brake handle, and reverse handle. Various toggle switches, circuit breakers, indicating light instruments are mounted adjacent with the control housing are also used in operating functions. Reverse handle. The reverse handle on the bottom of three handles determines the direction of locomotive travel. It has the position reserve off and forward. The handle is removable um, from when the throttle handle is in idle position or the brake handle is in off. The throttle handle is above the reverse handle. Is shut, uh, shut, it has a shutdown, idle, and eight major positions. Eight major position or notches for full power. Shutdown position is located to the right of the idle. It's used emergency to shut down, shut down all power on the multiple unit consisting of operation position of the control unit. Pull out auxiliary axially on throttle handle to put in shutdown. This action shows it shuts down the diesel engine. Increase the motor um, monitoring power. The handle is moved toward the operator. The battery brake handle. Dynamic braking. The brake handle is above the throttle handle and has an off and a setup position and a braking sector. If the L position near the nearest the operative dynamic brake and shut off the setup position establishes dynamic braking circuits. Movement beyond the brake position of braking sector or away from the operator increasing the brake effort. Interlocking between handles. The interlocking between the handles and master control is provided as follows. One, the reverse handle must be inserted with it before the throttle handle can be moved out of idle position for the power and emergency shutdown. Two, the reverse handle can be moved forward or reverse only with the throttle handle in um, idle position or breaking off brake handle in the off position and the brake handle in the off position. Three, the reverse handle cannot be moved out of forward or reverse position when either the throttle handle or is advanced by the idle or braking handle advanced between be on the off. The brake handle must be in the off position before the throttle handle can be moved into the idle position except for the emergency shutdown. The throttle handle must be in the idle and reverse handle forward and reverse before braking handle can be moved. The reverse handle can be moved removed when the brake handle is off and the throttle handle is in idle. Operation. To manipulate the controlling ha manipulate the controller handles during the locomotive operation proceeds as follows. Lead or single unit operating handle set up reverse handle removed. Braking of the top of the handle and off and throttle on the mid handle and idle. Caution. Feeding the brake handle away from the off or throttle handle away from the idle, which uh, the reverse handle removed indicates the interlocking between the handles requires repairs and adjustment. Do not attempt to operate. 3. Insert the reverse bottom handle. Set the reverse handle to the desired location. Direction. Operation in power mode. Braking handle remains off. Move with the throttle in the desired notch. Operation in dynamic braking mode. Throttle handle return to idle. Move in the brake handle to set up. Pausing the advance as desired. Operation is a trailing unit. Brake handle is an off. Throttle is an idle. And reverse handle centered or removed. For emergency multiple unit shutdown. In a control unit, and pull, the, pull out the axially throttle handle and beyond the idle to shut down. No, a trailer unit reverse handle must be inserted to release the throttle handle before it can be moved to shut down. Devices and control council. The air brake equipment. The Schedule 26L equipment range single station multiple unit operation principal parts are 26C brake valve. Valve consists of two separate pieces, the automatic brake valve, independent brake valve. Automatic valve is designed for regulating brake pipe pressure to control both the locomotive and the train brakes. The independent also controls the release of the locomotive brakes due to the automatic brake application without releasing the train brakes. All right, automatic brake valve handle. The automatic brake valve handle has six position release or running position. The position charge of the equipment releases the locomotive training before brakes um, for after the automatic application. This is accomplished by the airflow of the brake pipe as set by the brake handle or set by the handle position with the regulating valve on the back of the brake stand. The release position is extremely left at the quadrant and normal position of the automatic brake and is not in use. Minimum reduction position. The position is located at the, uh, to the right of the release position where the um, brake pipe handle has reaches the first ra raised portion of the quadrant of the brake valve ahead and will remove from this position. The minimum service application is obtained and which results in four to six pounds brake pipe reduction. Service position. The sector of the brake panel the movement is, is is to the right of the minimum reduction um, position, moving the handle from the left to right in this sector increases the degree of the brake application. An extreme right over the sector and a full service brake application is obtained. 
All right, this is your automatic brake valve positions. You have your regulating valve, the brake stand, um, release automatic handle, minimum reduction, service zone, full service, suppression, handle off an emergency. This is suppression position. The position is located with the handle against the second raised position and the quadrant to raise the right of the release. Um, position provides a full service brake application and will suppress the cab signal sp speed recorder over speed as well as the vigilant dead man th 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 feature. Handle off position. The position is located with the quadrant knock to um, the right of the suppression position and the handle is not, uh, normally removable in this position. It should be placed in the position removed of the trailing uh, and removed on trailing units and multiple units consisting of locomotives being towed or dead end train. Emergency position. The position is located at the extreme right of the brake valve quadrant and is used to make of the brake valve and in the initiated emergency brake application. When the emergency application has experience, the automatic brake valve handle must be, uh, must be removed to the emergency position, left position until equalizing reservoir gauge indicates zero pressure. Sand light out, the automatic brake valve handle move, may be moved to the release position to recharge the brake pipe and release the brakes. Independent brake valve handle. The handle applies relief to the brake locomotive consisting of release of the brakes of the locomotive and unit into, uh, units alone after automatic and emergency application. And the brake valve has two positions of release and full application with the application zone between the brake valve and the self-lapping type of the automatically maintains brake cylinder pressure and the reach of the corresponding handle position. The independent brake application can be released in the movement of the handle toward to the release position. The automatic service and emergency application can be released in the locomotive consisting of the pressing of the independent brake valve handle to the re in the release position. Position. Your brake valve cutout cock, the cock also known as the double heading cock, um, is located with the front of the automatic brake valve head, um, pushing in the handle to determine the position and the type of the service. The opposition is used a locomotive operating as a trailing unit, multiple unit cutout cock. The valve is located with the brake and on the brake stand and enables locomotive to be equipped with a 26L brakes with uh, operating with the multiple unit locomotives having similar other types of brakes equipment turning the proper position. Air regulating valve feed valve, the air regu um, regulating valve be located in the control stand figure. One automatically maintains predetermined air pressure for the train pipe. Brake pipe closed movement of the adjusting handle increases the pressure settings and the counterclockwise movement and pressure setting adjusting conform to the railroad rules. The horn valve pulling toward you, you on the handle of the air horn will sound. Lead axle sand switch sand will be applied to the front axle only. Sand switch will be applied to lead axle of the, each truck no matter which either direction you're going. Belt valve. Bell valve with the low coolant of the bell valve with some when the pull towards you and put and push in to shut off. Air gauge is the following duplex air gauge are located with the gauge panel with the control console. On main reserve equalizing reserve, red hand indicates the main reservoir pressure, white hand indicates the equalizing reservoir pressure. Brake cylinder and brake pipe, um, red handed uh, red handed indicates locomotive brake cylinder pressure, white hand indicates brake pipe size pressure. Airflow indicator white hand indicates amount of flow. Red hand is set by the operator when the flow is greater than the operator set. The red light button on the bottom of the indicator will come on. All right, the meter reads higher, highest current going through the traction motor. Motoring, monitoring is shut, shown at 12 o'clock and two bands has two bands. The green band is continuous rating with the motor. The red band is a short time rating. When the short time rating observe the time limit of the meter, the dynamic braking is shown with the left at left at 12 o'clock and has two bands. Yellow band is continuous rating of the motors for the red band with the overload with the meter going for the red band reducing the brake handle position. Indication lights, um, six indication lights are in the, on the console the floor, from, the, from left to right to the top to bottom. Wheel slip indicates the wheels on the sum of the locomotive consisting is slipping with the train line indication. And this is a train line indication. Your, um, PCS open in case the air brake has gone into the emergency position. All power should be removed from the locomotive. Dynamic braking warning light. This indicates the locomotive consists of experience expresses excessive brake di dynamic braking current. Reducing the brake handle position as the light goes to the light with the opposite opinion may not appear to the locomotive. <coughs> Our blank sand indicates that either the lead axle switch sand switches during a wheel slip sanding would automatically turn off. <coughs> All right, switches, gauge light, switch turns all light, sign the operating console with the gauge light dimmer knob is around with the front of the console near the front of the window, step light, switch turns all four corners, step, li step lights. Generator field circuit breaker, the generator field circuit breaker is in and on whatever the locomotive is powered and operating as the lead unit. The breaker also may be used to keep the main generator de-energized with the necessary to run engine speeds higher than idle. 
Engine run of the engine run brake controls the engine speed. It must be on the on control engine speed and the lead locomotive. All the locomotives of the consist of the on trail locomotive of the breaker is in the all position. Our control breaker. The control breaker must be on on starting an engine provided with the power circuits include the auxiliary multiple unit uh, operation. The brakes must be on the on lead locomotive only. Dynamic braking control brake. Uh, breaker dynamic braking control breakers use the control of the dynamic brake for the locomotive. The multiple unit operation of the brakes must be on on the lead locomotive only to control the dynamic braking of all the units that in the cons that in the consist. Headlight switches front headlight rear headlight um, call button. The button rings the car car call call bell and all the units that consist of the following normal cor correlation between the throttle handle brake handle engine speed RPMs. Throttle idle engine one uh, idle. Um, one and throttle handle one engine notch one four four five four 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 forty five four fifty three and rear RPMs and then throttle number two engine notch number two fifty two twenty one five forty nine engine uh, throttle three and um engine notch four seven zero four twelve four engine throttle handle four engine notch five seven fifty eight seven eighty eight um and then throttle handle number five engine notch six eighty seven 876-884, engine throttle handle 6, and engine notch 6, 878, 876-884, throttle handle 7, engine notch 7, 962-980, and throttle handle 8, engine notch 8, 1,049, 1 1,057. When dynamic braking, the engine speed depends upon the braking grid current. The 0 to 449 traction motor amps are engine at idle. 450 to 574 traction motor amps the engine at notch number 5. But, um, 575 to 2720 engine traction motor amps. Engine number and engine notch number 8. Regular 450 low, 385 low, low, 270. Are your cutout cocks from the listing of the cutout cocks on the valve of the locomotive to their location? Actuating pipe, figure 7, 16, 18, 24. Actuating pipe at the end of the count, 16, 8, 17, 16, 80, 24. Brake pipe, end connection, 7 and 18. Brake pipe, air, air rack, 26. Control range, reserve drain, 20. Diesel engine, um, 26. Fuel filter drain, 40. Fuel horn and bell, 26. Lube oil drains, 14. Main reserve, end connection, 7, 16, 18, 24. Main reserve, 24. Two, tw over speed sand wipers and safety control 26 truck cut out 1923 water drain 42 water slight glass shut off 42 all right your engine control um, panel is located on the rear wall of the operator's cab figure 31 mount of the panel are various um, circuit breakers switch at the display panel and the other operating devices used during locomotive operation as a description of each of these devices will follow Circuit breaker over the intro engine control panel on um, the top of the row of the circuit breaker over the engine control panel is the optional equipment. The equipment can be turned off with the unit, op um, unit in the operating is trail unit from the left to the right with the circuit breaker of their function. If the locomotive does not have one of these circuit breakers, it is not, equi it is not equipped with the option. One space seat, pace. Pay setter two window heater three over speed four locomotive uh, local lo troll loco troll five uh cab signal six alertness equipment equipment all alertness equipment seven warning light eight oscillating light nine radio ten water cooler eleven fuel front headlight twelve rear headlight or your end shut stop push button. The um, button is the shutdown with the diesel engine of that unit only. The second row of the circuit breakers and the engine control panel is used with the both standards operation optional equipment of all which the must be left with other the units operating in the lead or in trail unit with the left or the right circuit breakers are, are a function. The locomotive does not have one of these circuit breakers is not equipped with the option. One auto water drain, two toilet tanker heater, three blank, four blank, five running lights, six compressor clutch. It means some locomotives do not have a clutch. Um, set um, fuel pump seven eight local control nine battery charging computer. All right, diagnostic display p the pa panel or the um, did diagnostic display panel performs several different functions of the locomotive. The first function of the panel is telling the operator crews about the status of the locomotive. The function is divided into two forms: a, the fault of the curb with the unit the, and the crew should take some action; b, an information status message that will tell the crew why the unit is not at full power. Second function is, of this panel is to inform the maintenance personnel what conditions has occurred on the unit and test b, the test current test correct these conditions success function requires a password entry. 
On the top of the diagnostic display panel and two line messages, the top line is used the fault line, a fault number, and then the status and the fault type message. The bottom line is used to display one of five respond words. The words are the input with the computer needs. If you know that what should exist, the words input with the conjunction with the F1 to F5 through F5 keys. Look at it directly below each of the word by pressing corresponding the F function. The key of the word will be entered with the computer. The response word with the position display will vary for each of the new messages. All right, your shift key. The function of the shift key is to allow the unit to insert the small letter symbol on that is on each of the each key by pressing shift key with the next key with the press is entered with the small letter symbol on each of the key. The shift key is only good for one input at a time. The enter second small letter symbol. So you must press the shift key again to letter symbol. Example: If you wish to um, input letters A and B, you would be press the sequence shift key number one key shift key um, number two key. All right, bright dim key. Um, to dim the display, simply um, press the bright dim key and hold the longer the press of the bright dim key, the dimmer the um, display will get until it's almost out. To increase the brightness of the display, first press the shift key, then bright dim key. And the longer longer you press and press the bright dim key, the brighter the display will get. Hint, when you are increasing the bright brightness, you stop and the next time you touch the bright dim key, the display will go dimmer unless you first touch the shift keys. All right, number letter key to enter the number keys one through zero. Um, j just press to enter the letter A through F. Press the plus the sim plus the symbols, um, period plus minus and asterisk. Um, first press the shift key, then press the desired letter. Um, this shows the diagnostic display panel, F1 through F5. The um, shift key, the clear data space to write dim enter one through zero. Clear delete and, and key. To enter the delete command, just press key, then enter the clear key, um, then press the shift key, then press the clear de delete key. Click the delete key will make the display with the computer to take back to the being sequence we were in. The key, clear key will clearly display back on the step of the sequence you were in. Space key to enter, just press. It's into, enter, just press. Enter key, just enter, just press. All right, multiple fault display. The read of the um, display, diagnostic display panel is only capable of displaying one fault or status message at one time. The fault message with the highest level priority will be displayed. The lower level fault message will be stored. Highest level fault message is clear, but the next highest level fault le message will be displayed and so down on the priority list until the all fault messages are rest and clear. Example, load limit measured in, uh, is on the display and the ground relay picks it up. The load limit message will be stored and ground relay will be disappeared. Those are the faults that can be displayed with the response of the group should take these messages are not listed in order priority fault won't load dirty air air, air filters press the reset key won't load hot diodes pre press the response press the reset key fault shut down engine overspeed press the reset key this this lists other the messages that can be displayed with the response crew should t um, take alarm from other unit no crew action or display will be ready to test with the train line and de-energize um, can't can't battery jog BKT wrong position throw the reverse handle check it in the air there's air pressure call for maintenance message display re ready it's normal start of the message displays for a few seconds and the message stays on longer than if the message stays on longer it indicates the cab controller is not functioning call for maintenance Message fault, message stored, report the maintenance and continue operation message. If self-loaded, check the see if the self-loaded switch with electrical lock over the operation cab at the normal position. Message isolated, place the engine control panel on the switch in the running position. Load, load limit, dirty engine, air filter, no crew action. Load limited, hot engine, no crew action. Load limited, low per water pressure, no crew action. Load limited, low oil pressure, no crew action. Load limited, power circuit ground, no crew action. No limited electrical control problem, problem, no crew action required. Load limit, hot traction mode, no action required. Message load limit, PLS, and notch, not seven. Check the position, not seven. Switch, the switch should only be used for the lead unit when the throttle in its handle is in the eight notch, excessive wheel slip. Um, message low limited cold engine not crew no crew action no battery charge isolated unit no no dynamic braking automotive cut out no action required the normal is the motor is automatically cut out by the controls no dynamic braking main control main motor cut out no crew actions required the normal if the motor is cut out this this um, no dynamic braking electric control panel isolate the unit dynamic brake provides standard um, standby power call maintenance. 
Rad fan problem may reduce load. No crew action ready. No, no crew action after 30 minutes with no active view, but the display will go blank. And if you wish to turn other on the display, simply touch any key. Um, shut down low water pressure. Check the water level. Full temperature at below 145 degrees. Follow, follow the railroad rules of the draining unit. Shut down low oil pr pressure. Check the oil level. Isolate the unit. Prepare to drain water if necessary. Shut down crank. Case over pressure. Isolate uh, unit and pre prepare to drain the water necessary. Per message wait. Response wait um message won't crank electrical control problem call maintenance won't load wait until the auxiliator isolate the call maintenance will when it won't load hot engine isolate won't load the power circuit ground um isolate won't load person power circuit problem isolate won't load electrical control problem isolate Message won't load. Check BFCO and DIS. Check the BFCO inside electrical locker and operator's cab. Check the door for the high level voltage compartment behind the operator's cab is closed. Message won't load. Battery charging problem. Check battery char charger computer circuit breaker with the electrical engine control panel if there's on the isolate the unit. Message routine maintenance D by the display. Dis um, this diagnostic display continue operating call maintenance with the GE representative collect the repair data. Oh, your engine control switch. The engine control switch has four positions, which are start, start, isolate, run, and jog. The engine start with switch is effective only with the electric control. Uh, engine control um, switch is in the start position. The jog position is an open uh, option, may not be appeared to the unit. When the engine is running, the engine control switch is in the start position. Engine is held with the, uh, at an idle power, cannot be applied with the locomotive. The power plant is said to be the offline. The engine is running with the engine control switch for the isolate position. The engine speed is held at the idle power and cannot be applied to the locomotive. The, en the alarm, alarm bell will sound and false occur with that will shut down the engine down. The engine is idling. Locomotive to be um, operated with the engine control switch must be moved to the run position. Um, when the engine position is shut down, locomotive is moved and the battery propulsion engine control switch must be moved to the jog position. All right, your multiple unit headlight setup switch. The multiple unit headlight setup switch has five positions. Position switch is determined by the location of the locomotive and position whether the front of the locomotive unit is lead, leading or trail unit switch position is as follows. Single or middle unit place the switch position of any locomotive operator singly or all units, especially leading of the trailing of the units with the locomotive consisting made up of more than more, more than one unit. Short head led lead, lead leading unit and place the switch with the position leading unit is operated with the short hood and forward. Long hood lead leading unit place the switch in the position when the leading unit is operated with the long hood forward. Short hood trail trailing unit the place the switch in position when the final trailing locomotive unit is connected to the short hood trails. Long hooded trail trailing unit place the switch with the position and final trailing movement and the unit is connected so it has its long hood trails. Switch on the engine control panel. The following light switches are located with the engine control panel. Crosswalk, counter compartment, front number, rear number, front class, rear class. The following cutoff switches are located in the engine control panel. And promoter number one through six and um, speed sensor, locked axle. Note the speed sensor cutout which um, switch only cuts out when the sensor or any traction motor that is cut out. Um, the two motor speed sensor must operate before the well, unit is allowed allowed to load. Battery charge receptacle. The receptacle the battery charge receptacle is located in the engine control panel. The circuit breaker of the following power circuits are located at the bottom of the engine control panel. Engine strip heater, the heat, heat helper strip heater, engine main cab heater, helper's main cab heater, air conditioner optional. All right, operation hints for the Series 8. You should know um, that would that when you start up a cold diesel engine, the equipment blowers and the radiator fans will um, go to full speed. The reason to add some of the load of the warm-up of the diesel engine faster. You know, if the cooling water um, temperature is gets up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the diesel engine will only will only be allowed to go into the notch 1 RPM power, even if the throttle handle is calling for the higher notch. The unit of the cooling water temperature gets up to 140 degrees. The diesel engine will only be allowed to go in the notch 3 RPM power even if the throttle handle is calling for a higher notch. The, the equipment blower does not follow the diesel engine RPM to both vary speeds according to the cooling requirement. The radiator fan varies in speed according to the cooling water temperature. The after, the after you start up the diesel engine, the battery charger will not start and they operate for a period of 60 seconds. That when you um, turn on the battery charger computer circuit breaker, the electronics check itself. Um, the display panel will turn itself off after it says ready for 30 minute period. The temperature of the traction motor calculated built in computer will use the input traction motor, current air temperature, etc. time, etc. 
Uh, the traction motor are too hot, but the computer will automatically cut out the traction motor current. The units will not respond manually, training the sanding the signal and locomotive speed of 7 miles per hour. The axle sand will function as before. The engine will not load, but if the door going to the electrical locket on the left side of the locomotive is open, the load meter will come, um, come up during the self test. Self load box shop load box testing. There's no current with the traction motor armatures during this test. There's no transitions. The low, 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 low idle in the battery charging voltage drops to low. The diesel engine speed should come, will come up to the higher idle will. The battery charging demand is on. Or the power automatically reduces on each of the unit and separately and leakage ground exists with the power circuit but the ground relay will not trip the power will reduce the unit and ground to dries up and goes away the ground weight it's worth the relay will trip after three um trips in the 30 minute period with the relay no will no longer reach that itself by the sh um should be resist for the shop electrician after clearing with the ground fault the power will reduce the cooling water temperature starts to go to hot. The power will return to normal when water is temperature is normal. The diesel engine will go to idle, unload the, and unload if the water temperature exceeds the top end of limit. The, um, that 16 cylinder diesel engine B398 and C398 speeds the speed will automatically reduce from notch 8 to notch 7 um, at certain train speeds. This save this phase fuel diesel engine speed will return to notch 8 when necessary. Diesel engine RPM will vary with the dynamic braking according with the braking handle position idle through eight. There are uh, there the a, after prime start switch is turned. The start will be about two to four seconds delay with the diesel engine start to rotate. The that a thirty second bell means the unit of uh, offline. The diesel engine is start uh, still still running. Continuous bell means the unit is offline and the diesel engine is shut down. The exciter and auxiliary generator are now um, combined with the auxiliary alternator built into the main alternator frame. The main alternator frame is used for the starting mode of running of the battery. The, each of the rectifier over the temperature switch has an operator owned separate unit of the input. The computer, the manual request of the radiator fans can be set to the full speed backwards one minute with the reverse handle center with the blow of the debris off the inlet screen. The display panel of the engine control panel will provide the message for local load of condition. Alright, starting the diesel engine. Note if the engine has been shut down for a considerable period of the time, the cylinders um, should be cleared of fuel of water accumulation before starting the engine. Proceed as follows. Apply the engine bearing over device. Back off the compression relief plugs on the left side of each of the cylinder. Rotate the engine at least two complete revolutions by using the engine bearing over device. Proceed. Remove the bearing over device from the engine. Tighten all the compression and relief plugs by cranking. Before cranking, um, note cover the bearing over feature must, must be securely mounted, otherwise engine cannot be cranked. See figure 50. All right, one. Check the emergency stop. The feature is nullified or throttled in the idle position. Throttle and handle in the idle position. Close this. Close the battery switch located um, behind the door of the engine control panel. Turn the all circuit breakers to the bottom of the row of the engine control breaker panel. Turn on whichever circuit breaker is on the top of the row of the air, are needed. Check the diagnostic display for all the faulty messages it should read ready. Place the engine control switch into the start position. Go to the start station located at the engine and put, put, put the start with the switch of the prime position. Hold the unit and see the fuel in the sight glass. Turn the switch to the start position. Hold the engine start. Uh, hold until the engine starts. Note, if proper lube and oil pressure does not build up within approximately 40 seconds, the governor will shut off the fuel and prevent engine from running. Stopping the diesel engine. Note, allow the engine sufficient time to idle to cool down. Place the engine control switch in the start position. Place the engine stop button on the engine control panel to or a start station. Or at start station. Um, open all circuit breakers, open the battery switch, and secure the locomotive. Monitoring. Close the generator field circuit breaker on the control council. Caution. To prevent equipment damage for the changing for the power to dynamic brake from the dynamic brake to the power pause to the sand circuit for throttle handle idle and dynamic braking handle in the off position. To move the reverse handle with the desired direction of movement, advance the throttle handle, the throttle handle with the notch, uh, matches the idle handle up to notch 8. Um, with each of the successive notch represents increase in the power of locomotive traction effort. Dynamic braking. Make sure the throttle handle is in the idle position. Advance the brake handle as desired. Reverse locomotive. Bring the locomotive to the full stop. Move the reverse handle to the opposite direction. Release the brake handles. Advance the throttle. Open operating the uh, as the lead unit. Test the air breakers in accord with the railroad rules. Close the generator field. Dynamic braking control. Engine running circuit breakers on the operating console. Place the multiple unit headlight switch in the proper position. Move with the reverse handle to the desired direction. Operate the locomotive in accordance with the railroad operating procedure. 
operating as a trailer unit, air equipment setup with multiple, make a full, full service application automatic brake valve handle to make the brake valve cut out with a double hand and clock out and do the out position, move the automatic brake valve handle in the off position, move the handle when the um, place the input handle in the release position, multiple unit cut out cock with the out position. The electrical setup, um, move the reverse handle with the off position, remove the handle, operated generator, field dynamic, braking control, engine control circuit for the operator console, leave all circuit breakers closed portion of the bottom row over the engine control panel, the multiple unit headlight set up at the proper position, headline, head hauling dead end train, place the independent brake valve handle in the release position, automatic brake valve handle in the off position, um, um, directly press the brake valve and cut out cock, move the out position, move the multiple unit cut out cock, double ported cut out cock handle in the in or open position. Caution, to avoid wheel flat spots, drain the main reserve down to 40 psi below the brake pipe pressure, reducing the, on the train which the locomotive will be coupled. Open the dead end engine cock and see figure 26. All right, this has been Series 8 Transportation System Business and Operations at Erie, Pennsylvania, 16531 General Electricity. And uh, this was your operations, a series eight handbook.